wonderful people of the internet it's shadows girl 1920 here hi and we are back on the tree seven server i still have my beacon on me um so i'll put that away but today we're working on the cathedral for a bit and the plan for that is that we're going to take this bit that i framed up right before i had the stuff go on that stopped me from wanting to YouTube for a little bit um, so we're gonna fill in that framework get that layer done and then I'm hoping to frame up and complete the next layer as well I want to bust out as much as I can over the next couple of days so bit of a mega episode this time and Yeah, I'm going to time lapse the whole lot. Sorry, I'm still getting back into the swing of the whole talking and doing stuff thing. Um, I, I might do some voiceover and uh, over some of the time lapse. I, I'm thinking a QA. and a I might put out some feelers on Twitter over the next couple of days because this will take me a couple of days. But yeah, that's how the episode should pan out. Um, now, these rear towers. I had a play around in the testing world and despite the fact that they're not very visible from the front of the build if I were to extend them any higher like I've been talking about doing um, they do, the scale doesn't look right from other angles when you're viewing it so we're going to leave them at that height and cap them off with roofs during this episode um, I believe I've finished the windows on the sides of them. I hope I have. If not, that's something else we'll add to the time lapse. But, yeah. No, I have not put windows on that level. So, yeah, that'll be done with the rest of the time lapse. So, let me get my mind together and all of the gear I need for it and I'll get stuck into it. See you at the end of the time lapse. Okay, so um, I got two questions on Twitter right at the last minute. They're both from MJ, who is another member of the server. His channel will be linked down in the description below. Now, um, the first question from him is the origin of my username. Now, that, that's not as interesting of a story as a lot of people might think it is. Um, now, obviously, Shadows Girl 1920, um, a lot of people refer to me as Shadows or Shadow. Um, Shadow 1920 is my fiance, and I am Shadows Girl. So, that, that's essentially how it works. Now, I don't know where he got the 1920 part from, but we're both a little bit alternative, so shadow and stuff like that kind of fits in with our personalities. But yeah, and it, it started out as a Pokemon Go username just because we wanted to be able to be recognized as a team when taking over gyms and whatnot. And then when I decided to start Twitch streaming around this time last year, I decided just to continue with that username and then I carried over into my YouTube channel when I decided to step away from Twitch. That's it. That's my username. <laughs> Sorry, it's not as interesting as some people were hoping it would be. Um, now the next question is also just completely awesome. Um, and that's what would my vanilla Minecraft wish list would be. So in future updates, what would I like to see in Minecraft? Um, I'm really hoping for more slabs and stairs and I think everyone can agree with that. Also wouldn't mind um, some texture improvements particularly on diorite because if you see real natural diorite it is the most beautiful stone absolutely gorgeous and then in Minecraft it looks terrible. And there's very few uses for it. There are uses for it besides throwing it in fire, but they're um, very few and far between. Now, 
what I'd really also like. Oh gosh, I've lost my train of thought. Um, oh, that's right. Coloured pressure plates. I would love to see wooden pressure plates in all of the wood colours because when you put a pressure plate down on the floor to operate your doors, if you're not using oak wood for your floor, it just sticks out like a sore thumb. And that, that can get annoying. So you either have to make a feature of it or you just have to live with the fact that it's a different colour. And it does frustrate me a little bit. Um, another thing I would like is, I don't know, more ambient creatures. Like we've got the bats and they just float around and they do nothing. But maybe small birds or things like that. Um, things that make the game feel a little bit more alive. I, I, I kind of swing two ways. I either spend forever in one place building massive structures or I explore. So I'd love to see more happen with the ocean. I would like in full craft. We've got all the coral. We've got all sorts of fun things happening in there. Whereas Minecraft, you know, you get the sea temples and that's about it. Now, um, there wasn't a huge amount asked in the Q&A, but uh, uh, there are typical questions that tend to come up in other people's Q&A, so I thought maybe I'll just talk about that for a wee while. So, yeah, um, if anyone is wondering, I started playing Minecraft be three years ago uh, this New Year's. It was a Christmas present from Shadow, my fiance. Just a few months after we started dating, he decided he wanted to get me into gaming, which is weird. I, like, I do play, I was playing games before that, but not the sort of games you could play with other people. So this was just after the release of 1.8, I believe. Yeah, it was like 1.8.2 or something, but yeah, so we started up a Realms server, because when I got my Minecraft account, we got a trial for Realms with it. And um, I was living out in the middle of nowhere, just because um, at the start of that year, I'd separated from baby girl and her big brother's dad, and I, I was living with a lovely couple out in the middle of nowhere, just north of Christchurch. And so we'd be on TeamSpeak or Skype or whatever, wanted to work on the potato laptop that day, and would play on Realms together, and he taught me Minecraft. So, yeah, that was fun. And, um, yeah, I kind of struggled with the whole survival thing for a really long time. And then last year... I came across Grian, and this was just as he was gaining popularity, and I saw all these building tutorials he was putting out, and I went, okay, cool, I could do that. And I installed World Edit, and I played around with the building, and then I realized I still kind of like survival. Like I may not even get to the point where I want to take out the dragon or anything, but I do like survival. So I just kind of took the building skills that I'd been learning with World Edit and playing in creative mode and watching all these tutorials, and I put them to use. And I just kind of adapted everything for survival play. So, yeah, when I decided to start my channel, the obvious choice was Minecraft. Like most of the YouTubers I follow are either family vlogs or Minecrafters. But, um, yeah, and that's essentially the, the story of how I started Minecraft. So, we've got a couple of minutes left on the time lapse, so I'll put on some music and you guys can enjoy watching me finish this off.
right, so that was fun and took me two weeks, but the time lapse is done. Yay! All right, so if all went according to plan, there should have been a QA and a in that time lapse, which would be fantastic. But if there's not, there's not, and you guys had 10 minutes of music, and hopefully I picked stuff that you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, so that was hectic. We had a three-day server malfunction, and just, I had, I was working crazy hours, and yeah, it just, it all worked against my, fa against me when it came to that thing, so. That was a little bit more difficult than I wanted it to be. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got everything we need, we're going to put in the buttresses. So we've got them on these two levels on either side, and it's also part of the reason why these sides aren't quite as decorated as the rest of the build, because I wanted to kind of tone it down a bit so that the buttresses did the detail work instead. So, yeah, nothing too crazy. Um, again, we're following the whole arch thing, and being a gothic build, they are... They are flying buttresses, so they're not attached hard up against the wall. They come out and over and then attach, which is pretty cool. Where's my stairs? There we go. And this is why I go through so many ender pearls. Plus the fact that I don't actually have a way up here other than ender pearls, so yeah. Now the interior in here, we'll get to that. Plus, we're getting stuff spawning up in there. I've lit up this side. I didn't light up that side or up there. But um, I've had a couple of creepers fall on my head. You might be able to see one of those in the time lapse. Off memory, I think it did happen in the time lapse. Um, yeah, that wasn't fun. All right, so we're almost done here uh, i tried to keep the design for these relatively simple but trying to keep them detailed while also looking like they would actually be a support structure so that was a challenge in itself all right oof i'm glad i've got a lot of food and then we get the arch in I need to get up there. Ah! Gosh. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. Alright, so we need to put a steer here. Nope! didn't make it. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to dirt block pillar. Um, I have realized in the process of making this that there is a huge difference when you're working in survival versus creative. And... Ah... Uh, I'm putting these on the wrong part of the build. <laughs> Alright, sorry if you can hear my phone going off. I'll turn that down. Now, we are reaching a point in this build where it is excessively easy to fall to your death. It has happened a few times. In fact, one time, it was lag-induced, so I'm not counting it in my total death count. Um, I accidentally spawned an endermite, as you sometimes do. And the wee bugger decided to knock me off the side of the build, and I fell straight down the center, right from, like, up there. And, um, 
yeah, I died, obviously, because I'm pretty sure that's a good 80 or so blocks to fall now. So, not fun at all, but yeah, it was, it was lagging and I was swinging my sword at it and it just wasn't taking damage. So, yeah. Not exactly the highlight of my week. <laughs> I don't think I've actually had a highlight this week, but still got a few days to go. All right. Way off topic now. Cool. So what I'll do is I'll get this buttress in and then we'll move up to the top ones. And I'll see you all soon. Alrighty guys, so these ones are done. Um, we'll stand up on the tower so we can really see what we've done here. Now it's just straight up stairs um, connecting the buttresses, well buttressing from the supports to the building. And essentially the purpose of these was to give narrower parts of a building a wider footprint and just, you know, Kind of help prevent them from toppling over. And um, yeah, this is what they look like from the back. We'll do a bit of a walk around from the outside. Probably go stand on some of those trees over there at the end of the video. Just so you guys can see what these look like. But at the moment, this is all we need. Now, to get up here... It's a little bit easier just to... Ah, oh, no, I missed. It's just a little bit easier to end a pearl. Um, this is why I'm burning through all my food. But now we're onto the buttresses up on this level. So give me a sec to place down the bases of them so I know where we're building from. And then I'll get back to you guys. Alright, now these ones aren't quite as thick as the ones down here. Now that's simply because of the excessively limited space to move around up here. And they also start in the crenellations along the wall. So, yeah. Not quite as complex. Now, we're just going to need a tiny bit of dirt scaffolding, just so we can do that. And then it's uh, one of these, one of these, and another one of these. I'm glad I have feather falling boats. However, we should be able to do it all from the ground from here, hopefully. Alright. To get the other towers on. Ah, no! Maybe if I do this. There we go. And then we can just kind of build down and then I can put the cobblestone posts on top at the end. I am missing a chiseled stone in every single one of these. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard when you're working off of two Minecraft screens. Especially when you're out of practice with the whole doing things and talking things. So there's going to be a lot of chopping and editing to this particular set of scenes, but you know... It is what it is. I'm still getting back into the habit of things after being away for a while. 
All right, now it should just be the same steer thing as the last one. Yes. So we're going to need our dirt back. That one there. What have I done wrong? Oh, I see. I started that too low. There. There we go. So yeah, it's the same pattern as the arches on the other buttresses. So I'll get those in. I'll show you guys the end result on this side and then I'll just put on the other side in between the episodes. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, everybody. So we've got the buttresses in for this side and I'll work on the other side in between episodes. Oh, I was hoping to land on top of a tree. But, yeah, you can kind of see them from here. We'll zoom in a bit. But as you can see, they add enough detail without being too busy behind them. Otherwise, it would have just been over the top. Because it already looks a bit messy now, but... Yeah, it, it adds a lot of detail there. Whilst also being a genuine structural support in the context of a cathedral. So, yeah, obviously I need to do the other side. That is a thing that needs to be done. Oh, falling. Now if we can just get ourselves as far this way as possible. There we go. The cathedral really is coming along nicely. Now we have two more sections to go, but they are the largest sections of the entire build. It should almost double the height of this thing. And that is a wee, uh, like a tower coming up here that then extends into the main tower that we will make our mob farm within. But I want to get the interior done for the levels I've done so far before we move on to going up height-wise. There's also space for gargoyles in a few places, so we'll be doing that. And I did end up going with the new door design. So that's another thing. But yeah, if we head up this way... Do, 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 do. Wow, there's a lot of passive mobs spawning on all this grass around me. Alright, you can see, like, obviously that blank slate will be covered with a buttress eventually. But, I've also, because I did a massive mining out in the desert adventure off camera, I now have enough glass to kind of keep the build going for a while. I have another full shulker box of sand too for when I need it. Um, yeah, but from all angles the build's starting to look really good and it's starting to come together and actually look more like a cathedral. Because to start off with it really did look a lot like a glorified shoebox. Now, the reason these back walls are starting to go a bit blank as they go up is because generally it was the facade on the front that was the most highly detailed with all of the windows. That is where the stairwells are going to be. So there will be little windows etched in in places along the stairwell, but it's not going to be as highly detailed. And also when you're standing underneath it, you can barely see it anyway. So, yeah, obviously the towers, windows all the way up. 
but yeah and even here you can't even see the buttresses or like 80 percent of the detail i've put in so it's one of those builds you have to look at from a distance or on elytra <laughs> but i'm having fun building it and i'm rambling too um i'm still getting used to the whole talk and minecraft thing again i after having all that time off from it um i am on my last week of cover shifts at work so hopefully things will return to normal but yeah i think things are looking good however that is definitely after two weeks of working on this episode all i've got time for today so if you like my video then hit that like button and if you like my channel then please subscribe you can find me on facebook and twitter links will be in the description below and i'll see you all next time bye <laughs>